since I mentioned media manipulation and media control, I thought that I would play this piece, and, and this is an in auxiliaryinfowars.com reporter that put this report out, and then Paul Watson wrote a story around it, and I've said many times, don't ask me permission to be an InfoWars reporter. Don't ask me permission to paint InfoWars.com on the side of your barn. You have absolute right to do that. If you're a fan of Coca-Cola, you can paint it on the side of your barn. But we get these emails and calls almost every day. You know, can I put your stuff on Access Television? Can I write about you, uh, you know, uh, in an article for the school paper? Uh, can can we write about Infowars in a play I'm writing for drama? You, you you can write about Moby Dick if you want, or 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 Elvis Presley, or Jesus Christ. I mean, whatever you want. Freedom is your freedom to create culture and art without getting permission, and that's what political correctness is is I better not say or do anything. That's why they keep widening it to brown bags and dodgeball and everything's politically incorrect so that you're just scared to death and just go in a ball and only repeat what you saw on Family Guy. And as the mainstream media is discredited, they're going to segue to Comedy Central and movies and drama. That's where the real propaganda is. And I almost don't even want to go to this piece because I'd like to get a piece Darren McBreen did. Maybe we can do this on the nightly news and then air it on the Sunday show and post on InfoWars for people. He did a whole report on admitted subliminals in TV ads in the modern age. And it's like a Sharpie ad where they just flash it for two seconds and it shows protesters and it says, don't protest, submit. And that is subliminal. And then we've got cases where in Breaking Bad, over and over again, they would attack Ron Paul in just flashes where drug dealers and child molesters liked Ron Paul, and they only do it for a few seconds because your subconscious brain reads it, sees it, makes the connection. Your subconscious mind could be, some estimates are 100 times, some are only 10 times, more powerful than your cerebral cortex. The frontal lobes, the left and right hemispheres of the brain are tiny compared to the rest of your brain, and they have to focus all this incredible knowledge down into what you're currently thinking about what you're currently dealing with. And so folks are pointing this out. We're seeing this more and more where they create a mock infowars.com website and then have it with a ridiculous conspiracy theory. And this is done at a subliminal level because you cannot read it when they flash it up there for one second. But your subconscious mind did. And we're seeing this all over the place. So I hate to just show one example because, I mean, let me tell you what's subliminal, quasi-subliminal. Bill O'Reilly did the report a few years ago, and he's done this several times, about cyber-stalking and, 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 and men trying to rape women over the Internet via Craigslist. And then he cuts to me, screaming, in that case about police or something, nothing about women, and my face turning red. And he says, these haters must be stopped. I mean, I showed my lawyer. He said, yeah, you can sue who's score and win. Do you want to spend a million dollars and take a couple of years to get two or three million dollars? Same thing with Rachel Maddow. I, I mean, my lawyer's rated probably the top lawyer in Texas, and I'm not bragging. He, and he said, but, I mean, do you want to waste your time? And I said, no, they're just so discredited. But, yeah, there's the headline. Bill O'Reilly smears Alex Jones in hate speech rant. Th this is quasi-subliminal. Because... It's like they're trying to make me a meme of, of, of you know, rapist, uh, racist, uh, because they know I've got their number. Now, let's go to this report. Comedy Central show chides Infowars with clone website. Segment features main character browsing conspiracy wars, which is the same logo as ours, with crazy headline. You can see the video up on Infowars.com if you're a radio listener. Here's the audio. The mainstream media's propaganda campaign to marginalize Alex Jones and Infowars continues to be deployed in full force and on all fronts. A recent episode of Comedy Central's show Broad City, aired February 11, 2015, featured an unfavorable cameo of the Infowars website. It's only two seconds and it goes by very fast. It was quick, but it says Michael Jackson lives in Richard Branson's space condo. The header on the fictitious website says Conspiracy Wars which is clearly an exact replica of InfoWars' website. It is a carefully placed subconscious mind conditioning technique. 
The producers of the show went out of their way to create a fake website to condition their audience. This quick subliminal message may be enough to dissuade someone from reading an InfoWars article they may come across without them even knowing why. This isn't the first time Alex Jones has been demonized through subliminals in entertainment. In 2013, a movie called Prisoners came out starring Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal. The antagonist in the movie was a child abductor rapist conveniently named Alex Jones. I'm Adam Green, reporting unofficially for InfoWars.com. Make sure to subscribe below to No More News and catch the sneak preview to my upcoming documentary film, The Conspiracy Theory Conspiracy. People always ask, how do they work with us? How do they work for us? You just do it. And this is how we end up getting reporters. David Knight, all these, Jakari Jackson, they won contest. Well, David Knight didn't win the contest, Jakari did, but... He, he got in the running. Even though he lost the contest, he ended up he moved down here from North Carolina with his family, doing a great job. We're just looking for a few good men and women that want to fight tyranny. And there are so many examples of this. And I made some phone calls to Hollywood and, and did indeed find out that the Alex Jones name with the writers was kind of a hat tip. And they said, look, the guy ends up being innocent in the movie and is actually like a good guy. So, you know, it's not all just attacks. People are like, wow, the, 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 the child molester is named Alex Jones. Well, it turns out he's not. Uh, so some of it, I mean, I mean, quite frankly, you go see something like Captain America. I mean, it's almost like I co-wrote the thing. Um, if, if you listen to this show, when we talked about the master plan with the extermination lasers on the blimps and the face scans, and then that's basically in the movie uh, and, and everything else and how there's a how Hydra, but see, it's not that they're even copying me. It's that I understand how the system works because the globalists have written books about how it works that, that only they seem to read, but are hidden in plain view. You're listening to the Alex Jones show. I'm Alex Jones. Thank you for joining us. Dr. Andrew Wakefield's going to be joining us. His uh, co-author was completely exonerated by a British court and given back his medical license. He was not engaged in fraud in the study with Wakefield. Wakefield suing as well is going to be exonerated. Uh, it's a total hoax. His, it turned out other British studies found the same thing, just were not widely circulated. And uh, the inserts of the vaccines admit they can give you neurological disorders, uh, pancreatitis, the list goes on and on. Uh, so th th this is how they dumb the public down. They'll say, uh, it's been discredited. The wheel does not exist. Uh, this guy's a fraud. It, it, it is hoax, hoax, hoax from the same folks that bring you uh, the fraud th that is Brian Williams. And I don't like sitting up here talking about myself all day, but when they try to destroy Dr. Wakefield, they try to destroy Ron Paul or other really good people who we know are legitimate and who they're going after, we have to stand up for them. And when they're demonizing InfoWars.com and yours truly, we're going to talk about it because we're getting attacked because we're on target. That's it's the show isn't about Alex Jones is getting attacked, but we're getting attacked so much we've got to cover it to further discredit the system and to show people why they're attacking us. Because we know what these dirty rats are up to, and they could all go the way of Brian Williams. This system is trying to bring in tyranny because it's tottering. Well, I don't want tyranny to collapse into greater tyranny. I want it to just be phased out into liberty. Nothing's going to be perfect. I don't claim utopias like every communist does or statist does. But we, a lot of revolutions are successful if they're peaceful. Violent ones are almost never successful. That's why they try to brand revolution in media as violent. The printing press was a revolution. There's been so many organic foods a revolution. Peaceful things, and they're demonizing right now, and they're in a full court press as their vaccine fraud comes out to dominate and bully everyone with peer pressure into doing this. Infowars.com has the report. Uh, it's also in Natural Society. You cannot make this up. It's an Anthony Gucciardi story. McDonald's gives free vaccines with Happy Meals. I want to get Anthony on the nightly news tonight. Would you like a hepatitis A shot with your Happy Meal? Yes, we'll talk about this with Dr. Wakefield coming up. Unbelievable. Continuing, uh, yesterday it was reported by AP and others that indeed illegal aliens will get tax refunds even if they just got here. Free money. Obama amnesty creates loopholes for illegal immigrants to vote in elections. That's in the Washington Times. Yes, that's right. Openly and, and in places like Illinois, they've, they've introduced legislation. In fact, did that pass? I know it passed their House and Senate. The governor was going to sign it to where anyone that gets to Illinois can vote. Of course, it violates federal law, but I mean, it's just incredible. 
Uh, U.S. sends China millions in foreign aid despite 1.3 trillion debt. <laughs> uh, man, I, I tell you, I just, you can't make this stuff up. Uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was drunk during the State of the Union. <laughs> At least she admits it. I kind of, I don't, I don't like her. She's a t horrible tyrant. But uh, it has all these bodyguards, but doesn't want you to be able to defend yourself. But at least she admitted she was drunk. <laughs> uh, Barack Obama's cybersecurity push spurs privacy fears. Financial Times of London. Yeah, it's CISPA and SOPA back. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-31.